warm welcome to this very important video of today that is web content mining and you are watching the series data mining concepts and techniques so what is web content mining web content mining can be used to extract useful data information knowledge from the web page content in web content mining each page is considered as an individual document the individual can take advantages of semi structured nature of web pages as html provides information that concerns not only the layout but also logical structure the primary task of content mining is data extraction where structured data is extracted from unstructured websites the objective is to facilitate data aggregation over various websites by using the extracted structured data web content mining can be utilized to distinguish topics on the web For example if any user searches for a specific task on the search engine then the user will get a list of suggestions so this is the example of web content mining so if we see here the mining extraction and integration of useful data information and knowledge from the web page content this is called as a web content mining so it mainly concerns with the web content and the content available on the internet that is on the web web content mining is related but different from the data mining and text mining yes it's totally different from the mechanism of data mining and text mining how it it is different we will see in further slides so the web data are mainly semi structured and unstructured while data mining deals primarily with structured data this is the main difference why the web content mining is differ from from data mining and text mining because it's mainly concerned with the semi structured and unstructured data while data mining concerns with structured data only or a primary it concerns with structured data then the web content mining includes text audio or video image that is all kind of unstructured and semi structured data available on the web it includes so this is the web content mining inclusions then the next is unstructured web data mining so now question arises what is the unstructured web data mining you know the unstructured data that is audio video okay these are some of the examples of unstructured data so how we how we can convert that unstructured data into the useful information or structured information the process is given here in web there are web pages and we pre process that pages to form a vector creation and from that vector creation the structured information is been generated so through this diagram you will see these are the web pages available on the web okay and from that the structured information in the form of csv xml sql excel we can generate okay so this is the unstructured web data mining then the unstructured document mainly deals with the feature extraction so what is the, this feature extraction bag of words to represent unstructured document takes single word as feature okay and it in, ignores the sequence in which word occur so the sequence is not important but the word is very important and we are taking one word or single word as a feature feature could be boolean or frequency based how it is boolean word either occurs or does not occur in a document so this feature is called as a boolean okay Uh, how it is frequency based frequency of the word in a document so how many times that word occurs 
in particular document this is the frequency okay then the variations of feature selection includes removing the case punctuation infrequent words and stop words etc so case sensitiveness or punctuation mark base this is these are some of the variations of the feature selection then the features can be reduced using different feature selection techniques so what are the different feature selection techniques and how we can reduce by information gain mutual information cross entropy and through stimming what is stimming stimming which reduces words to their morphological roots so this is the technique used for reducing the features or feature selection techniques so this is the unstructured documents feature extraction then the next is structured web data so as compared to unstructured the structured web data is quite simple to operate and to form the useful information how it execute that suppose you have this table okay table in your database or in web data the structured web data table is given here where there are title model price okay and through this we are rendering view in a web browser like the this first row represented in this form in the web browser okay so this is the title okay and this is the model and this is the price of that model okay so rendering the view in the web browser is very important in structured web data so the simple methodology is there there is a database which is connected to web server and web server is connected to browser any browser okay so this is the mechanism of structured web data now mining techniques using agent and database so web content mining basically deals with two approaches agent based approach and database approach in agent based approach intelligent search agents are there information filtering and categorization is there and personalized web agent is there and in database approach there are multi level databases and web query systems are there so this is the dividation of this approaches or sub categories of this approaches then the agent based approach is what there are intelligent search agents and information filtering development of sophisticated ai systems so these are agent based approaches okay first in intelligent search agents develop that searches for characterization to organize the interpret the discovered information and the second is using various information retrieval techniques and characterization characteristics of open hypertext web documents to automatically retrieve filter and categorize them okay these are some of the agent based approaches and in database approaches it used for transferring unstructured data into more structured and high level collections of resources such as in relational databases and using standard database querying mechanism and data mining techniques to access and analyze this information the whole process is given in these lines it used for transforming unstructured data into structured high level collection of resources so this is very important concept database approaches there are two sub types multi level databases and query web query systems so in multi level databases there are lowest level and high level okay lowest level semi 
structured information is kept and high level generalizations from lower levels organized into relations and objects and in web query systems web based query systems and languages developed such as sql nlp for extracting data so these are the two approaches okay in web content and this is the final uh, crawler diagram that is the typical present in the www see here if you consider the world wide web there are the web pages okay and that web pages has a multi threaded downloader or we can download into a multi threaded program so these multi threaded downloader comes into the queue and then queue has a scheduler okay and one by one these pages has been downloaded because there is a multi threading present and that is stored in the storage in particularly in a hard disk or in a database that is the text and meta this is today's very important video of web content mining thank you for watching this video like comment and share this video to your friends if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for latest updates keep watching keep learning thank you jai hind